All right, boys and girls, here's what we're going to do. In this video, we are going to talk about some square root arithmetic, for example. These two expressions right here, they cannot be added. Because this right here, well, this is the number times itself that equals 5. It's not 5, and this is 3. For example, nobody ever confuses how you can't add these two up. And the reason that you do this is because people see a 5, and they think, oh, well, that must be 8. Well, that's true. This does equal 8, but this right here doesn't. It does not equal 8. It doesn't equal the square root of 8 either. Hmm. So the thing is, the rule of thumb is, if you have a rational number and you want to add it to an irrational number, well, you can't. That's the closest you can get. That's as good as you can do. However, if you had something like this, well, that's a little tricky. Here's what people do all the time. This isn't right. It doesn't equal the square root of 6. You see, it turns out there's one of the square roots of 3 here and another there. That's 2 times the square root of 3. You see, these are irrational numbers. If you had pi plus pi, well, that would be 2 pi. If you had x plus x, that would be 2x. You see, we don't know what x is. We can't rewrite it another way. And pi, the most efficient way to write pi is with that symbol right there. The square root of 3, best way we have of write, writing the number that equals the square root of 3 is just with the symbol. So if we have 1 and we have another, well, that makes 2. So, for example, if we had 3 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 2, well, that makes 8. Square, oops, 8 square roots of 2. Yeah, just like that, you see? Um, watch, let's take a look at this right here. Let's say we had the square root of 3, and we had 2 of them. And let's say we had 4 more square roots of 3. Well, check this out. This right here means there's 2 of them, which Multiplication is just repeated addition, so I have two of those right there, and over here, over here I have four, so let's see here. This would be four of them, so one, two, three, and, and sorry, ha, I was going to say four and write four at the same time. Now, these are all adding right here, so if I count them all up, I have. So if I count them all up, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six square root three. You see what you can do? You can add those multiples right there. Because these are the same. Those are the same thing. If you have four of them, you have two of them. That makes six combined. However, if it would be different though, if it was like this, three times the square root of eight, plus 2 times the square root of 7. Because here, those are square roots of 8, and these are square roots of 7. You can't add those. So what about subtraction? Does it work any differently? Well, no, it doesn't. Turns out subtraction works exactly the same way. You're just going to subtract the coefficients. They're not really coefficients, but like, say, 3 square root 11 minus 7 square root 11. Well, that would be 3 minus 7. That's negative 4. So there you go. Whereas this right here, 2 square root of 12 plus 3 square root of hmm, 3. Now, 3 and 12, square root of 3 and the square root of 12, they're not the same. However, this thing right here, it can be simplified. Do you see? Let's do some scratch work over here. Square root of 12, well, that would be the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. And the square root of 4 is just, of course, 2. So 2 times the square root of 3 is what 12 equals. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that and substitute it right there. So I've got 2 times 2 times the square root of 3 plus 3 root 3. Now, I probably could have done this in my head and just written a 4 right there. But I wanted to show you where it came from. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just rewrite this. And we're going to just put a 4 there. All right, so that's going to be 4 root 3. This right here is going to be 4 times the square root of 3. So that makes 7 times the square root of 3. 
So sometimes you have to simplify these radical expressions to see if you have things that are the same. Not a big deal, as long as you're able to simplify those expressions. Now, again, same thing as always. When you have a square root like this, what you've got to do is you've got to factor that square root and look for the biggest perfect square. So like, just for quick review, the factors of 96 are 1 and 96, huh, 2 and 48. Does 3 go in? 9 plus 6? Hmm, that's 15. 3 goes into 15, so 3 will definitely go into this 32 times, as a matter of fact. Uh, 4 goes in 24 times. 5 doesn't go in 6. 6 does go in, let's see, 16 times, I think. I'm doing these right off the top of my head, so, man, I don't even know. Does 7 go in? Nope. 8? No, yes, 8 does go in. 8 goes in 12 times. Huh, I should have known that. 9 doesn't go in. 10, 11, 12 is the next number that goes in. You see how these things repeat right here? That means I'm done. So the biggest perfect square hmm, that I have in my list right here, it looks like this is my biggest perfect square. Right there. That's my biggest perfect square of 16. So to simplify this, I would do the square root of 16 times the square root of 6. That's 4 root 6. Done. So anyway, to add or subtract square roots, the thing you got to have is the radicals must be the same, and you just add the coefficients, the multiples, the things that are out in front. Now, it works a little different if it's something like this. Do you see? This is not the same as this. Those are totally different things. This right here, this is the square root of 6. This is 2 times the square root of 3. And those, yeah, they're not the same thing at all. So you got to be careful with that. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If it was, you could just click like and maybe share it. You should visit the links in the description below. There's some practice problems, some more in-depth uh, coverage of this topic and many others. And on my website, thebeardedmathman.com, there's all kinds of great, fantastic stuff. And feel free to visit my Patreon site as well. Anyway, thanks for watching.